seem to find myself speaking to you at the beginning of these Hebrew calendar months, which is delightful because Rosh Chodesh is one of my favorite opportunities, the, the new moon, to stop and contemplate what season we're in, what's happening, to set some intentions for the month ahead, and to think about the month that is past. Now, this new moon is the new moon of Shvat. Now, even though it's still winter, it's still January, our Hebrew calendar is beginning to think about spring. Shvat is the holiday where our ancients teach the sap slowly begins to rise in the plants and trees again, even though it's cold outside, even though the branches are bare. And so we have this opportunity in January even to start thinking about the spring that is to come. The ancestors teach that not only does the sap begin to move, but that what will become the bud on the branch begins to form. Now, that bud won't unfurl for quite a few months, but it's an intention. And ultimately, if that bud has a healthy life cycle, it will unfurl and it will turn into something else. Which reminds me of a quote. A quote that was on the cover of the first journal that I received as a tender teenager that has stuck with me ever since. The quote is by Anais Nin, and it goes along the lines of this. One day, the day came where it became too painful to remain tightly bound in a bud. One day, not so very long from now, these buds are going to unfurl. And so I invite you to set some intentions for your life, for what you want to unfurl in the spring, what you want to be either letting go of or bringing into blossom. Because, you know, it's January and it's dark and dreary, but spring is just around the corner and there's no time like the present to do some planting so that you can harvest later. And this subject is a rabbi Uh Talks about um, setting intentions for spring. Woo!